everyone welcome back to smart mouth beauty this is Holly and today I have a real treat for you or a trick I did a zombified mermaid costume earlier this month and decided to share that with you guys first you have to become a mermaid before you can zombify it so that is what you are seeing here so I'm prepping my face with the Clinique foundation and a little bit of clown white to kind of give me an ethereal kind of mermaid glow look Doing a little concealing with a little Kat Von D concealer and blending out with my Real Techniques sponge, bringing it down on my neck. Using some pigments and the Too Faced Shadow Insurance, and the pigments are from Sugar Pill. I've decided to kind of do a little ombre on my eyebrows. And I'm gonna do the tail ends of my eyebrows in purple sugar pill pigment. And I think the front end up a little pink. And just a quick tip for you guys while I'm finishing up my eyebrows. Um, my hair is in French braids because I am planning on putting a giant wig on. So if you have a lot of hair and need a quick tip on how to fit it under a wig, uh, I suggest a couple of French braids. You will see me with a fishnet a wig cap on a little later, but this is the best way to get your hair under control so it lays as flat and smooth underneath the wig as possible. Kind of helps the wig kind of stay onto your head. So it's a little quick tip on why my hair is like that. Oh yeah. Here comes the contour. I'm using the City Color Contour Palette. Went ahead and just gave myself a little bit of shadowing down through my neck and onto my chest before I add the mermaid colors. So I am going to contour with a Suva eyeshadow palette and it's got a lot of the, the blues, the purples, that emerald green that kind of remind me of mermaid. So you'll see here I'm bringing a little color into my face and I decided to contour before I added the fish scale. Oh, and here comes the fishnet. So I've actually went through a lot of practice with this. I do have an airbrush machine and I did try the fish scaling with uh, airbrush technique. I tried it with the plastic spoon. If you haven't seen any kind of fish scaling with plastic spoon, you'll have to look that up on YouTube. It's super fun, but we, we tested that out. Uh, it, it didn't work as well. It didn't give me a sharp enough defined fish scaling. So on with the fishnets. I look awesome. and taking a few Instagram selfies. Now you get to see a finished product and I'm gonna go through, and, oh, well, I'm taking photos. You're gonna go, I'm gonna go through and um, contour out and bring a little bit more light to the center of my face because I want the center of my face to pop and the sides to kind of recede. I'm applying the Too Faced Shadow Insurance and I'm gonna do some detailed uh, cut crease and some mermaid kind of colors on my eyes. Don't forget to check us out on Instagram and you'll be seeing all the photos that I'm taking during this process as well as finished photos. So check us out on Instagram at Smart Mouth Beauty and uh, like some of our photos.
all of the eyeshadow that you're seeing here is either from Sugar Pill or Suva Beauty. I did reapply the Too Faced Shadow Insurance and now I'm applying a massive amount of glitter. And that is from beautybarbaby.com. I believe I found that on Etsy and it's really amazing glitter for your eyes and I believe this is in their pink shade they have all kinds of different colors but I of course went for the pink and next comes eyelashes uh, actually first I think I curl my lashes and apply my regular Maybelline uh, lash sensational mascara which is my tried and true and I think I'm just measuring them at this point but these are uh, lashes from sugar pill And fish faces. I guess that was appropriate. And my protein shake. This is actually uh, about 9 a.m. in the morning and uh, this this took me several hours to do. And up next is my arms. So those of you who have seen our videos know that I'm covered with tattoos and I had to kind of blur those out. I kind of stippled on a little bit of that Clinique foundation to try to cover a little bit of my tattoos. And we cut open a uh, pair of fishnets and put my arm through them and I'm holding them really tight and my wonderful boyfriend is helping me kind of stipple on again those same eyeshadows from Suva Beauty palette and getting them all mermaid. I felt so glamorous and was so grateful that he was there to help me and uh, we do this on both of my arms and a little bit on my chest and neck and then we get full into costume. Um, you'll see some photos coming up of me as the mermaid and Miss Valerie. You all finally get to see Miss Valerie and oh that was a little hairspray. The hairspray really locked that down. I let it dry before we removed the, um, the fishnets. So here we are as the actual mermaid. There's Miss Valerie and I and we um, piece together those costumes. I'll tell you a little bit more about that in a second. So here we are at the zombification. Is zombification actually a word? I'm not sure. But now I have to make it kind of ugly. So it was really difficult to, to do that once I was feeling so pretty. Um, again, now this is probably about two o'clock in the afternoon. You do see me put a little bit of red eyeshadow. That is an Urban Decay eyeshadow. Um, it's called Gash, actually, which is really helpful for zombieing uh, yourself. Uh, you'll see here I'm applying Kinesio Tape. It is a kind of a therapeutic, uh, sports injury uh, kind of tape um, and now here comes the wine uh, so normally I would go in with some latex and toilet paper I've done that many times in the past but this year I decided I was going to try this Kinesio tape method I uh, applied the Kinesio tape and pinched it so it would stick onto itself carefully cut open a uh, gash like spot for uh, a wound and using some latex to adhere that back down um, to my skin and just kind of darkening up a little bit of that under eye I'm now opening the Kinesio tape for my wound I go straight in with black eyeshadow uh, that's a Kat Von D black eyeshadow and doing a little bit of dried blood scab um, that you can get at your local Halloween shop I am using a zombie um, kind of a green face paint from Muron and I'm using a piece of sponge and if you just kind of take a big uh, like a sponge to use for a car wash uh, or to wash a car and you just start ripping that in half so you can kind of get some irregular pieces that is fantastic to stipple on a green um, and I have like two or three different colors of green to kind of layer that up but it's wonderful to stipple that on so you and a little bit more beer so 
I'm continuing to stipple on these different colors and a little bit of a highlight, um, little different dimension, a little bit more blood. Next up is finishing up with the blood and to shred our costumes. The costumes we did buy from Amazon as a base, you would wanna search um, adult zombie mermaid costume, but we decided to add on about 12 extra yards of fabric and uh, we made a tiara because what zombified mermaid doesn't need a tiara? So with my hot glue gun and a lot of different shells and lots of different fabrics, we made the tiara, added on accessories, all kinds of fun sea life with the lobster and um, moss and I hope you guys have enjoyed thanks so much for watching